Live from the state capitol newsroom, more bills aimed at transgender athletes cleared the state legislature and are waiting for the signature of Governor Bill Lee. The latest bills include a trans athlete ban for college sports and a measure that would financially penalize school districts that allow inclusive sports participation. News 2's Gerald Harris has more on the bill that some are calling discriminatory. On amendment number one, it's properly seconded. A year after Tennessee legislators passed a bill to ban transgender athletes from participating in public school sports, the GOP supermajority is back for more. What this bill does, it prohibits students of male sex from participating in athletics and higher education that are designated for females. State Senator Joey Hensley is sponsoring a ban on trans athletes and a bill that would strip schools of funding if sports are inclusive there. This bill is just meant to, again, a level playing field for those female athletes. But the bills are facing backlash. One female trans athlete says the bills are just more discriminatory tactics. That there is a kind of pervasive, consistent discriminatory attitude in, in these bills. Uh, that is inherently problematic. Darren Johnson, a cyclist, says the bills are misguided and target a very small minority of people. It's only focused on trans females, and I think that's because of a desire to really create a sense of alarm uh, when there isn't any. I've raced dozens of times since uh, I've transitioned, and while there certainly have been questions, and some folks may even have concern, I would say that that's caused more by a, an environment and a discourse, a rhetoric that has pumped up, uh, given oxygen to fears that only exist because somebody's shouting about this fear that nobody else was talking about until they started shouting it. Democrat Ramesh Ekberry says their bad bills in Tennessee could be on the losing end. The NCAA regulates uh, sports for our colleges across the state. And quite frankly, this will put us in a position where if the NCAA passes rules, we might not be in compliance, which could negatively impact our college athletes. In Nashville, I'm Gerald Harris, News 2. The Tennessee Equality Project released a statement calling on Governor Lee to use his veto power, saying, quote, these bills are overreached by the legislature, that there is no reason for the General Assembly to regulate issues like the eligibility of student athletes. More broadly, these bills are part of a nationwide coordinated attack on trans youth that is deeply stigmatizing and dangerous. 